Hello friends, this video on applications of biotechnology part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we discussed about biotechnology in agriculture. Now let us look at the role of biotechnology in the field of medicine. So now we will look at the application of biotechnology in medicine. Now some of the few things which have been developed or produced with the help of biotechnology are genetically engineered insulin. Now many of you might know what is insulin, it is used for, uh, it is extremely useful thing for diabetic patients. Now I will be discussing about what is insulin, why do we use it and what is genetically engineered insulin. So for now you can just consider that it is a sort of medicine for those who are suffering from diabetes and we can as well genetically engineer insulin gene therapy gene therapy can again be useful for uh, treatment of several diseases biotechnology also turns out to be very useful in the field of molecular diagnosis that is an early detection of several diseases now we will be talking about all of these three different applications of biotechnology one by one question is is human insulin enough to handle diabetics now what happens when a diabetic patient is uh, feeling really uneasy because of because when the level of glucose increases too much in the blood there are many consequences or there are many uh, things by through due to which the patient might suffer for example the heels do not wound fast uh, similarly I mean the wound do not heal fast. Similarly, the uh, he might have uh, problems of uh, say heart or BP or any other disease can attack that person quite easily. Uh, he gains a lot of weight. So there are many consequences when a person becomes diabetic. Now how to handle diabetic? Now diabetes happens due to the lack of insulin. So one simple way is to provide human insulin from outside. So if you are able to provide human insulin from outside as well as soon as insulin gets into the body what will it do? It will start reducing the level of glucose in the blood. Now the question is now since you want to insert that insulin inside human body you need human insulin and is human now how do you create more and more human insulin because we do not know there might be several people who are suffering from diabetes so we need a lot of human insulin so how do we get that human insulin so sometimes the stock of human insulin is not enough so what is there for replacement now earlier insulin was extracted from pancreas of slaughtered cattle and then that insulin was inserted into the human body so insulin was used from other animals when human insulin was not available. Now you can just understand that the body structure of other animals and human beings, they are not exactly similar. So there might be several di um, differences between the human body and the animal body. So when something from animals comes and enters inside the human body, there are chances that the body might not accept it or there might be some uh, adverse reactions from the body. So there were certain disadvantages associated with the usage of insulin from animals and then inserting them into the human body. So some of the disadvantages were this process was an expensive one. Now taking out insulin from pancreas of slaughtered cattle, the process itself was quite expensive. It is a complex process as well because you actually need to check the compatibility of uh, that particular insulin and the human being in, inside whose body it is going to be uh, injected. Allergic reactions can take place as a result of uh, different response of the human body due to the entrance of that foreign insulin. So these are some of the disadvantages which are associated with the use of insulin obtained from other animals. Now, it was found later with the progress of biotechnology and genetic engineering, it was found later that genetically also insulin can be prepared. So that genetic engineering process can be used to prepare insulin from bacteria. So there it is not the insulin which is present inside the bacteria, it is just that 
with using bacteria human insulin can be prepared so it is like human insulin is getting prepared by making use of some other organisms and bacteria they are extremely easy to grow so now it is under our control the more insulin we want the more bacteria we can grow and bacteria are very easily available microorganisms because they multiply very fast so you can actually get a large number of bacteria so this was extremely useful and there started the story of genetically engineered insulin from bacteria. So that, that is one very important application of biotechnology in the medical field. So now, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.